Hi guys, I will show you a simple way on how to prepare for your baby shower. A few pictures of my first baby shower as an example. And next month, I have a scheduled Halloween baby shower and I will walk you through a couple of ideas that I have. And as the weeks gets closer, I will show you exactly my decorations, etc. Are you guys excited? Let's get started. To start off, prepare any type of event nine weeks in advance. Only if it's like a small event. Now, if it's like a wedding, of course, more preparation than a year. So for this particular event, which is a baby shower, I would just give you a straight answer would be nine weeks in advance. This is a list of items that should be done within this time period. You would have to set a budget. Now here, um, you'll see a copy and you could get this list on Excel. You just type in the figures or the amount for each item and you could play with it according to your event. Two, it would be set a date and time for your event. So for my Halloween theme baby shower, we basically agreed to do it sometime in October because the fact that I love the fall and also I love Halloween and it's just in the perfect season. Two weeks prior to Halloween, six o'clock. And I'll show you my invitation for our Halloween baby shower. So as I was saying, once you've decided on the date and time, the next thing would be to decide on the theme. My first baby shower towards like a winter theme. So it was like blue, white, etc. I'll show you a couple of pictures right over here of my first baby shower. The next thing would be to prepare a guest list. So just write down, type, or whatever is convenient for you. Just a list of people that you would like to invite. Keep in mind that depending on the date and time, make that event that is not corresponding with another family member's birthday or like anniversary or wedding date because then most of the people that is on your guest list will be attending those bigger events versus your baby shower. Now the next step would be choosing a location or a hall depending what's your budget. So for my first baby shower, we decided to rent a little location, um, as you can see here in the pictures. But for this particular baby shower for Halloween, I've decided to do it at home, more convenient, is budget friendly to just do it at home and another thing is um, choosing a cater depending on your budget again if you want to be ordering some goodies or ordering food for your particular event or will your family members and friends will be helping you to finish off or to help you with your menu Last but not least, make or buy your invitation. For the first baby shower, actually created invitations and I mailed them out. And that was like back in 2014. Nowadays, a lot of people do not spend so much time in actually buying invitations. Um, nowadays, we are just doing it electronically, you know, creating something on your computer and either sending it out via email or text or sometimes creating an event through Facebook. In preparation for your baby shower, I would suggest six weeks in advance to do the following. Mail or email 
your invitation. In this case, for my Halloween theme invitation, I will show you just a screenshot right here of our invitation. And we just basically did it through Facebook and submit the invitation prior to six weeks. I mean, I, I would say the minimum would be six weeks so you could give your guest enough time to actually put it down in their calendar. The next thing would be to plan the menu. Where are you having appetizers only or finger foods? Are you going to have main dishes? Are you going to have desserts? I mean, it's obvious you're gonna have a little bit of everything, but it's nice to have a set menu so you know exactly what's needed down the line for when you're doing shopping. For my first baby shower, I actually did main course. A few appetizers and a whole bunch of food. After the party, there was so much food left over that we had to like give so much away. And I didn't want to make that mistake. I mean, obviously, I would like to have extra food, but it was like too much food left over. And I prefer having enough, but not to the point that it's like food going to waste. So for this baby shower, I have a list here of items that I will like for my baby shower. And it's all appetizers obviously there's gonna be multiple appetizers and I feel that as long that I have enough for everyone it would um, satisfy everyone and it would make me happy because these are things that I like four weeks in advance these are the items that you need to do within this time period either to buy or make decorations. Here's a couple of pictures from my first baby shower. Now for the Halloween theme baby shower, I have my close friends and family that actually bought Halloween decorations and I have a few of my own as well and we're going to incorporate that to the party. I have a couple of ideas that is like a baby slash Halloween kind of theme, which I'm going to put together. And I will show you within the couple of weeks from now. So for instance, I have a vision of doing like a poster of a baby dressed up as a vampire or pin the pacifier on the baby which is dressed up as a vampire in a cute little black stroller so i'll show you that in in the weeks coming up another thing um that i really want to do is basically just create like a huge creepy looking tree and recreating like a black stroller and um, basically either carve into the tree that says baby or something like that. I mean, I have it in my notes. So once I recreate that image, um, I will show you exactly how that would look like. And I would have that as a prop or like a decoration in the background. So people, when they come in, they could just, you know, take a picture I have lots of ideas so once the time comes as soon as I finish a project I would definitely show you step by step how I did it and the end result so you would need to buy a couple of gifts to give out to um, your guests once they win let's say a game or whatnot or the people that are actually helping you out host this baby shower. 
um, have a few in hand so you could give them out to your guests as a thank you. Very important, I would say, creating a, an agenda. So here's an example of my first baby shower. And as you can see that the party started at eight o'clock, not a typical baby shower, but from myself, it worked for my family and my friends and it was wonderful. Everyone had a great time. Next thing would be to have a list of games. Here's an example of the list of games that I have. And here's a few pictures of our guests playing them. And you can see their faces. Like for instance, this one right here, I actually spiked up all the bottles with Hennessy and beer. I know that's like a weird combination, but I wanted to basically have fun and watch everybody. I wanted to see their expression when they put the bottle in their mouth and started drinking that. Um, it was just so much fun. Everybody was like, oh, what is Three weeks in advance? I would suggest the following. Confirming your registration and catering reserve rental supplies when it's off peak season two weeks in advance you would finalize your guest list you would delegate tasks such as who's going to be taking pictures who's keeping track of all the gifts etc also make a playlist i mean for my first baby shower we didn't have a dj um, between my husband and I, we actually made a playlist and we just put everything um, into my laptop songs and it was great. And we're definitely doing that for our Halloween themed baby shower. One week in advance, shop for food, beverage and serving supplies. Set up decorations, if it's going to be catered at your house or your home, if it's um, catered at a hall, then obviously you cannot set up the decorations. If some of the decorations have to be put together, then that would be the best time to actually to do so. Two days in advance, prepare non-perishable food, clean and set up. One day in advance, prepare perishable items, pick up flowers and balloons. In this case, for my first baby shower, we did not have any flowers, but we did have balloons. And I purchased the balloons online. Basically, what we did is we actually bought a tank of healing, put up the balloons ourselves. The morning of the shower, Put finishing touches on your decorations, display the food and beverages, designate a place for all the gifts, and last but not least, enjoy yourself. I truly hope that this video will help you for um, your future baby shower or any particular event besides a wedding. Um, that it helps you prepare yourself. Thanks for watching. Click on the like button if you like this video. And if you would like more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every Mondays and Thursdays. I'll see you later, alligator.